Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Learn Loadener series. In this video, we are going to see about real world schedule and basic schedule in manual scenario. So just select manual scenario and you can check or uncheck this percentage mode and associate a script. So in this case, I'm going with one script and click on OK. So in the design tab, as you know, at the bottom uh, left corner, there will be a section to design your schedule. So by default, controller selects real world schedule. So here first we are going to see about basic schedule, then we'll come back to real world schedule. So just uh, hit basic schedule radio button. It will give you a pop up whether you want to continue the run mode uh, from real world schedule to basic schedule. So hit S. Yes. So once you uh, converted your schedule from uh, real world to basic, in the global schedule, you can see uh, three options, three uh, stages. So the first one is initialize, second is uh, start v users, and third is duration. And just above the uh, faces, you can see uh, there are uh, there is a, a text box where you have to enter the total number of virtual users to emulate. So in this case, uh, uh, for example, we can go for uh, 50 and uh, if you, if you change the value, uh, you will see a button here. Uh, this button is called apply change. So you have to select this. Then only you can see the schedule graph has been uh, reflected based on your number. So now we will see uh, how to configure the three phases, initialize, start v users and duration. So to change the uh, properties of initialize, just double click on the row. So this will give you an option uh, to change the uh, properties of initialize. So in the edit action dialog box, uh, the action type is initialize and uh, there are two buttons previous and next. So this will help you to toggle between the phases. So by default, there will be uh, two to three options for each phases. For initialize, there are three radio buttons. One is initialize all virtual users simultaneously or you can initialize uh, 10 virtual users for every 15 seconds in this case, or you can initialize uh, each V user just before it runs. So if you select the first option, it will initialize all the virtual users simultaneously. So in this case, we have entered 50. So it will initialize all the virtual users simultaneously. So if you want to initialize uh, a step by step, Say I want to initialize 10 virtual users for every 15 seconds, you can configure the number. Or if you want to initialize each V users just before it executes, you can go for the third option. So in this case, I'm going with the second option. I'm going to ramp up, I'm going to initialize slowly. Every uh, 10 virtual users will be taking 15 seconds to initialize. So once you configure the value here, just hit apply, then only you can see the next button is enabled. So you have to go to the next uh, phase, you can have to, you have to hit next. So now the action type is start v users. So here there are two options. One is you can start all virtual users simultaneously. Or you can start the virtual users step by step. So in this case, again, I'm going with 10 virtual users for every 15 seconds. So if you hit apply, interactive graph schedule has been changed. So now you can see the step by step pattern. So it will inject the virtual users step by step. So totally it will take around one minute to start all the 50 virtual users. If you select simultaneously and hit apply, you can see it will start all the virtual users in zeroth uh, second. This is not a, a good option because it will uh, start virtual users immediately and then uh, it will uh, hang up immediately because it cannot, your server cannot uh, uh, take up uh, all the requests simultaneously because the load is uh, pretty high. In real world schedule, uh, uh, people will gradually logging in. Uh, but uh, in case of uh, uh, 
um, flash sales or uh, uh, like uh, uh, black friday deals uh, people will be hitting uh, at the same time but for a typical test uh, make sure that you are giving some uh, enough time uh, to emulate the virtual users so just go with uh, the second option uh, increase the virtual users gradually and hit apply so once you hit apply you can see both the buttons has been enabled you can navigate between uh, the three phases so in this case we are proceeding with the next phase the duration so here there are three options one is the run until completion which means uh, it will run only once until uh, the user uh, executes its uh, script completely if you go for sell, second one it will uh, you can configure the time so typically we go for uh, one hour uh, one hour uh, or you can give some uh, uh, some time uh, extra uh, head heads up time say one hour uh, uh, 10 minutes or you can uh, run continuously uh, infinite time so it will keep executing uh, your script uh, infinite time until uh, you stop it manually so do not go for third option uh, or the first option unless it is required so by typical load test we usually select uh, the uh, run for uh, one hour or 30 minutes or so. so just hit apply and click on ok so now you can see the graph has been uh, uh, reflected based on your uh, uh, values you have configured so once you hit ok you can see the another phase has been added automatically which is stop virtual users so by default you'll get only three but uh, once you configure the duration you will get the fourth option if you want to change the fourth option fourth phase you can just double click on it and here you can uh, select uh, whether you want to stop uh, all the users uh, simultaneously or you can uh, simultaneously stop uh, sorry uh, you can stop the virtual users uh, gradually so here again i'm going with the gradual phase so i'm going to use the same uh, uh, duration of uh, my ramp up which is uh, 10 virtual users for every 15 seconds so now if you hit ok the total number of duration will be around uh, one hour uh, uh, 12 to 13 minutes and the total number of virtual users is around uh, 50. so it will gradually ramp up then it will uh, steady state for one hour five minutes uh, one hour ten minutes and uh, it will gradually ramp down so this is how you design your typical load test using basic schedule okay so the the take the key takeaway is make sure you are initializing your virtual users uh, with uh, some uh, heads up time and uh, start virtual users uh, step by step gradual uh, ramp up and uh, duration you have to select a duration of 30 to uh, 30 minutes to one hour and stop the virtual users gradually or you can go for uh, simultaneous so this is how you design using basic schedule so in next uh, video we are going to see about real world schedule so if you have time please go to my next video otherwise thanks for listening have a great day Thank you.